Hello and welcome to MANA here on HBN TV, the voice of Jesus Christ. MANA was created with you, our audience, in mind. We love and we appreciate you so much. So we go to work for you every single week and bring you shows that are relevant, impactful, informative, exciting, fun shows here on HBN. I'm so fired up today. By the way, my name is Tirsit Azrat, your host always fired up and I have a guest in studio today to discuss things that are happening in our community, specifically navigating Christianity in this politically correct world. There's so many things happening in our lives, so many things going. How do we na navigate through it? And hopefully, I know for sure by the end of the show, you'll get your answers and God is with us and God is in us. We love you. We thank God for you. And always watch HBN TV, always watch MANA, keep on sending emails. Let me know how I'm doing or the shows that you want to watch. And I am so fired up today. But before we go to the show, we are going to bring on my co-host, Miss Melissa Maddox, to tell us what she has in mind. And after that, we will be having our discussions with our guests. I thank God for you and watch HBN, watch MANA. We love you. Hello, welcome back. I'm sitting here with Melissa Maddox, um, who has always special uh, nuggets that she just drops on us so we can learn and understand and know more. Miss Melissa, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. You're looking good. You as well. So what do you have for us today? Today we're going to talk about unbelief. Okay. Go ahead. So a definition of unbelief in Greek is apatheo uh -huh. and does not mean just a passive unbelief, but a refusal to believe, an actual unwillingness to be persuaded. Uh -huh. It denotes an obstinacy that is based upon a rejection of the will of God. Uh -huh. It is a re to refuse or withhold belief and obedience. Unbelief is a state of mind, a decision a person makes not to believe what is truth. It is rejection, re rejecting that God exists. Uh -huh. Studies show that unbelief is indeed on the rise these days. Mm -hmm. We are living in increasingly um, secular times, and right. unfortunately, those who do not believe in the truth of the scripture often seem to have the loudest voices in the public domain. Yes, so it's, it's, it's really sad to know that this is the season that we live in where unbelief is running rampant even in the church. So my question to you is, can true believers like you and I experience doubt and unbelief in their lives? Yes, they do. But the Holy Spirit can, you know, guide us and encourage us back to that faith and that unbelief that we're dealing with at the moment. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Yes, what do God we do him. without Him? We can't do anything without Him. I know. I know. Isn't that beautiful yeah. to have Him to guide yes. us and to guard us and to always lead us to repentance? And that is what we're talking about. When we think about unbelief as Christians, we don't really have to fear, but to know that we have the Holy Spirit who always leads us to repentance. We will be right back after these messages. You're watching the Hosada Broadcasting Network. In James 4.17, the Bible says, So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, he sinned. Paul also tells us in Galatians, he literally wants us to use, not to use our freedom, to, to compromise, to give in, to do whatever we want, because that is also sin. That's a failure. That, that's, that becomes selfish because we usually take the word, twist it and turn it to make us feel good or fit into the mold that God does not want us to fit. In our world today, we are going through a whole lot of things that causes us to compromise. And we have to find out as Christians, we have to always discuss how do we navigate through this culture that expects us to be always politically correct, making wrong right and right wrong. To discuss this with us, today in studio with me is my brother and my friend who came all the way from Sacramento, California to talk about navigating Christianity in this politically correct world. That's none other than Pastor Morris Johnson, Senior Pastor of Church of God Pentecost in Sacramento. 
welcome pastor. He, he has a beautiful wife who is my friend. She's actually not my friend. She's my sister. She's yeah. my young sister. She's, she's a true sister and a true friend who has been hanging out with me. And that's how I met you, right? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. married my sister. Yeah. So then you guys have three sons. You are a businessman doing yeah. very well in Sacramento and, and a pastor. Yeah, so he, he, he has a, an incredible anointing. He is just as bold as he can be. You know what I remember is mm -hmm. when you walked into the council meeting, and declared what you had to declare. I forgot what it was and walked out. You didn't, it didn't matter to you who listened or what the, 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 uh, the consequences will be. Yeah. You just said it. Yeah. Why is that? I want to start there. Why? Why? Well, because I don't serve people. I serve God. Yes. And the number one thing you have to understand is um, if you serve mammon, uh -huh. then you will perish with mammon. Yes. If you serve God, then you will live with God. Mm -hmm. And I want to serve those things that are eternal, not yes. those things that are passing away. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to serve a cupcake right before I ate it, so I wouldn't serve <laughs> man. Yes. And so if, if, if we begin, if we as the pastors and ministers, which, which I blame a lot for the compromise of the church today, is the pastors and ministers and the, the teachers and we're not teaching those things if we're not teaching those things that are not conducive to a holy and yes. separated life. Yes. Then we do have to navigate through. Yes. But if we are the children of God, then we don't have to navigate through because we are living for God and we are navigating towards him yes. and not towards this society. Yes. And if you have to compromise, then what's the use? What's the use? So Christianity these days, as we see it, we use like the term, well, we just have to love them. We just have to accept them. We just have to let it be. You know, it is what it is. Um, in the 70s, things that used to be abomination, things that we don't even discuss in mm. public, on TV, now in the year 2022-23, they have become common. Why is that? Well, because people misinterpret love. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that God is love. Yeah. Yes. So everything outside of God or outside of God's purpose or outside of God's will, everything that isn't contained within God is not love. Hallelujah. And we have to understand that if you say that if we believe the, the word of God, then God is love. Therefore, anything that God opposes can't be love because God does not oppose himself. Exactly. And so when we start, we start saying, oh, we have to accept them. Yeah, we have to love them. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, is, is we don't have to uh, agree with them. We don't have to. We, we're not the judge. But at the same time, we're not supposed to be the comrade either. Yes. Uh, I think it's the book of Romans, the first chapter that says not only they who do these things are worthy of death, but they that take pleasure in them that do them. Yes. So God said, not only are you worthy of death if you do it, but if you take their side. Yes. And we have a lot of people going hand in hand with the devil, signing up with the devil, yes. partnering with the devil, the devil partner, yes. and going to church. Yes. It doesn't make sense. Yes. No, sin is in the church. Sin is in the church. In the church, a man meets a woman and they decide to get married, but it's going to take three, four months. Well, in the meantime, we can save. Let's live together. That's mm, not godly. No. There's a man in love with a man no. singing in no. a choir. The church is no. accepting him. That's not, that's not mm -mm. godly. Mm -mm. So what, how do you deal with it as a pastor? How do you deal with it as a Christian when, when issues like that face you well, daily? Issues like that shouldn't be facing us. Yes. We should not. We should not. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separated, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And touch not the unclean thing. And then, see that word, then means on condition. Yes. A condition met. Yes. Then I will receive you. Yes. We're not supposed to deal with this thing. When we see these things, we're supposed to say mm -hmm. immediately. Yes. No. Yes. And, and if you don't say no, then... You know, I mean, I'm scared. I, I, I can't do it because, uh, you know, the society. I can't do it because of the people. But 
who cares what the people in the society mm -hmm. thinks? I care what God thinks. Yes. That's it. You know, and if I if I live in love with God, then I live in love with God. Yes. And that's it. And that's then, it. so we we've we've got to stop. We've got to stop allowing the pastors and the teachers to teach us something that isn't in the Bible. And the yes. only way we know how to do that is to read yes. our Bible. Yes. You know, Pastor Morris, we have to settle it in our hearts, whether we are for God Amen. or for ourselves. Elijah in, on Mount Carmel said, settle it. How long are you going to do this? Mm -hmm. So we're going to pick it up right here where we left off when we come back from this commercial break. We'll be right back. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Hosanna Broadcasting Network is broadcast around the world. Preaching, teaching, ministering, entertaining, uplifting, compelling, and spreading the voice of Jesus Christ worldwide. HBN TV, the voice of Jesus Christ worldwide. Broadcasting now. HBN has a new attitude. We are changing, growing, and expanding to fit your style. The groove is on. Our program lineup is carefully crafted to meet the whole family's need. It is guaranteed to entertain, empower, edify, strengthen, and build its audience. Our shows are unique, cutting edge, and innovative to soothe your soul. Watch talk shows, cooking shows, fitness, family movies, travel, outdoor, and most of all, anointed ministries such as Rejoice, God's Faithful Disciples, Sid Roth, Manifest, and Joyce Myers. Picture TV on channel 35.2. Program your Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Download our apps for iOS and Android. Log on to our website, whatever you have to do. Don't miss out on the excitement and be a part of the movement. HBN TV, the voice of Jesus Christ providing wholesome programming to its community. The Word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. It gives power to the weak, strength to the weary, and hope to those who are lost. It is an energizer that keeps you moving upward. He is the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, the bright morning star, Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, HBN, the voice of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed and made whole. HBN, the voice of Jesus Christ. There is no limit to what he can do through me, for I am his workmanship, created to fulfill a purpose he has designed for me before the foundation of the world. Look up to the four corners of the earth and see that the harvest is plentiful. Fear and confusion has set in the hearts of billions in this time of uncertainty. But for those who are called, it is a time of excitement. A new opportunity is rising in the air. People are asking, searching, seeking, and the answer lies in the infallible, uncompromising Word of God that will heal the soul. The only way they can know about this is through innovative and dedicated media that delivers the message. We are looking for those who are ready to maximize this opportunity to fulfill the call in their lives. HBN TV is committed to do our part by providing the platform if you commit to do your part and preach the gospel. Don't let this great opportunity pass you by. Join us and be the voice of Jesus Christ. Visit us at wholesenabroadcasting.com. In a culture where most people are obsessed with watching television, one cannot help but to point out the danger that lies within. 
Television has the power to alter the thinking of its viewers with subliminal messages that hinder the mindset of its audience by causing negative emotions that are detrimental to the soul. TV has the ability to influence life choices and distort a person's perception from what God intended it to be. Unless the true message of our Lord Jesus Christ gets into their hearing, some will lose their souls. Let's give them an alternative. HBN is called to clarify and illuminate the true light of his word. Join us and use television to broadcast the truth that will bring healing to the nations. For more information on becoming a broadcaster, please visit HosannaBroadcasting.com. HBN TV, the voice of Jesus Christ. Welcome back to MANA here on HPN TV. We're having this exciting conversation about navigating Christianity in this politically correct world. So here in studio with my guest, my friend, my brother, Pastor Morris Johnson. We were talking, Pastor Morris, that people are not settling it in their mind. They, they're not even sure whether they're for God or for themselves. Why is that? Teaching. Plain teaching. and simple teaching. Break it down. So explain that to me. The word of God is plain. The Bible says that Jesus proclaimed, if any man will follow after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. When you deny yourself, that means it, to exude self-control and pick up your cross. And Jesus' purpose was the cross. To pick up your purpose and follow me. In other words, take your purpose and put it in me and follow me and take all your burdens there. Because the cross was a heavy burden as he was taking it there. Yes. People should realize that Jesus died for us. You know, if we... If we have this faith, he was he was whooped with a nine tail whip. He was he was spit on. He, yes. You know, we say he, he put a crown of thorns on his head. Yeah. But what about them thorns that were sticking in his head? Did yes. you remember that? Yes. He was beaten for us. He was whipped. He was spat on. Yes. And he was the king of glory. He said one in one way, he said, listen, if I wanted to fight back, my father would send an army of angels to yes, fight back for yes. me. He said, but no man taketh my life. I lay it down. Yes. So he laid down his life for us. And if he laid down his life for us, then we should be able to lay down our life for him to receive the benefits that he wants to give us. I came that he might have life in that life more abundantly. And if we lay down our life for him, that he's going to give us, he said, no man can give a father, mother, sister, brother, and shall not receive in this world a hundredfold yes. and eternal life. Yes. So Jesus was concerned with my now life and my eternal life. Yes. And so if I can, if I can just give up me and give up the us part, yes then I can receive the benefits that he wants to give to me. Yes. Sounds like a pretty good deal, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I'll bless you. I'll give to you. Yeah. And all yeah. you have to do is let me allow you to be the best you yeah. you can be. Yeah. It's for our benefit. Exactly. It, it's for our benefit. Yeah. yeah. So we go through all these changes, you know, in the office space at work. We can't even say Jesus or Christianity. We can't even reveal our identity as a Christian because we're afraid we may not get the, the promotion, the salary increase, we may be fired, we don't know. So we hide, you know, under the shadow of fear. And then we go places, even when we fill out application to be hired, we have to hide who we are. Those who used to be in the closet are coming out, they're proclaiming who they are. We have the truth. So you said earlier, education, knowledge. Is, is that why this is, or is it, is it self, being self-absorbed or being selfish? It has to be me. I have to, be, I have to get the job. I have to do this. I have to do that. And not trusting God for who he is. Is that what it is? That's it. And, and like I said, it's the teaching. The teaching, does, the teaching nowadays is all about, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. Yes. You're going to have a chance to yes. give. You're going to be blessed. Yes. I mean, yes. man, listen. Yes. I know it, I'm going to be blessed. Claim it. Yeah. Claim it. <laughs> Believe it and receive it. Yeah. I, I, I don't need all of that, bro. I just need to, I need the guidance. You can, you can give me a billion dollars, but if you don't give me the sense to have a billion dollars, it won't do me any good yeah. because I'll mess it off. 
You see? So what, what happens is, is we're not teaching. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say we're not teaching, but a lot of the teaching today, yes. a lot of the politicized teaching yes. and a lot of yes. the uh, um, dramatized teaching yes. and all those that, that are on the big you know, that have these yes. masses of people yes. following yes. them, yes. they're teaching about blessing and yes. they're teaching about things. It's like if I taught you that there were fish in the river and I gave you a pole, but, you know, when the fish bite, you yank too hard, you snatch the hook right out of the fish's mouth. I have to teach you that when the fish is there, you have to yank so gently, gently. to set the hook yes. and then reel the fish in. Yes. Because we're not teaching the fundamentals of who God is, uh -huh. not teaching the fundamentals of what God's purpose for our lives is and letting us find out for ourselves how to fulfill that purpose. Yes. Teach a man, you know, the Bible is the word of God that feeds us. Yes. But we should be able to also not be able to just to be fed by the pastor, yes. but to feed ourselves. Yes. And if we can't feed ourselves, then you ain't got no pastor. You're hungry. Yes. So now if you're hungry, what you going to do? You're going to eat whatever there is. Yes. Absolutely. And yeah. that's where it comes in. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to get the promotion. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of that. God hath not given us the spirit of fear, fear, but of love and of power and of yes. a sound mind. So we either trust him or we don't trust him. Either we're one. either for him or we're not for uh, him. Either one. Yes. So I didn't create me for me to worry about me and for me to make a decision for me. He created me. He died for me. He saved me. And that's what it is. So Pastor Morris Times are getting darker and dimmer and harder, more confused and more, you know, wars and, and sin has become like so normal. We're living with it and we don't even feel like, yuck, you know, mm -hmm. we're just accepting it and we're compromising with it. Do you think we're getting closer to the coming of the Lord? Do you, where do you think time is going from here? Jesus said, when you hear wars and rumors of wars, this is, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. These aren't even dark times. There's still light. There's still light in this time. There's light in this time. And we have to, we have to teach the light so that the light continues on. We are at the beginning or at the bicuspids of what is going to happen. I'm not confused. Jesus already told me this was going to happen. Yes. Jesus already told me how it was going to happen. Yes. So all I have to do is be prepared and watch and be watch and pray and pray. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for, I'm, you know, listen, there's some hills you got to be willing to die on. If you, I tell young ministers in our church, if you're not willing to die for this, don't step in the pulpit. Yes. You're not willing to die for it. Just, yeah. just sit down somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Paul says, I have died to Christ, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. Yes. As far as con Paul is concerned, even though he's walking and breathing and talking, his, his, his feeling is gone. But he had to die to live. To live. <laughs> and then he lived a full life, fulfilling mm -hmm. the purpose and the plan that God created him. And he gave up everything, yes. the promotion, yes. everything, yes. Yes. and he counted it all but yes. done. Yeah. So we have one minute. I want you to just say whatever you want to say. I want to say, if you are having problems uh, navigating this, this time and this season, don't worry about it. Put your head in your Bible. Don't read your Bible, Matthew today and Ruth tomorrow. Read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Start with God at the beginning of time and end with God at the end of time. Read your Bible through over and over again. You will start to see the unfolding of the personality of God in your life. And you will start to see the unfolding of the personality of God in your wisdom. And you will have knowledge and spiritual understanding. And the book of Colossians 1 and 12 says, strengthen by knowledge and, and, and by the power of God, by his might. Not by ours, but by his. But by his. Oh, hallelujah. That yes. is the word. Really enjoyed every. One of them. Thank you so much. You Amen. always bless me. When I came to your church, I was blessed. I'm Amen. blessed now. And I hope to see you really soon. You know, you're not a stranger to this ministry from Amen. now on. You're going to come back. Hallelujah. And we really are excited. This is this is word. I hope he heard. I hope he took something out of this conversation. I hope it has edified you and built you. Know that one day you will stand before him. Hallelujah. And it's too late at that time. Yes. You cannot go back and fix it. 
He is either God and Lord in your life or he's not. Make up your mind. Settle it in yourself. I love you and I thank God for you. Keep on watching HBN. This is your host, Tirsit Azrat, signing off for today. God bless you. The schools, the political system, everything we see wants to influence our children. How can a mother step in and undo what the society does to, to save her child? When there's times children can just be shut down, they yes. won't even talk to you. They will shut you. you down, yes, I know. So how do you handle that situation? <laughs> please log on to www.hosannabroadcasting.com. We're also on Facebook, or you can follow us on Twitter.